Hey everybody, December 14th, 2012. Thank God it's Friday. Yes, indeed. Long week, long week. A good week, but a long week. Um, happy birthday to Mania. Mania. Happy birthday to Mania. Happy birthday to you. And also thanks to everybody that subscribed last week. Don't forget to check out the old videos. Thank you so much for subscribing. Hope you stick around. Um, today we're answering questions. I got a really creepy, creepy message in the mailbox, in my YouTube mailbox that was just, man, it creeped me out. It was super creepy. So some of the questions, I'm there's a couple of questions that I had skipped because uh, I don't want to get too personal, but um, man, it freaked me out. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Deserted Island Scenario. You can only have one musical album to listen to, a band or singer. It can't be a movie or soundtrack or compilation. Which one and why? I was going to say Kiss Alive because that takes me back to my youth. It's an, it's an album that I enjoyed so much uh, back then. I was a huge fan of Kiss when I was a kid. And, um, but you said no compilation, so Kiss Alive is kind of like a best of compilation of their first three albums done in a live format, so that one's out. So it's either going to be Blow by Blow or Wired by Jeff Beck, and I'm going to go with Blow by Blow. Yep, there we go. I'll go with Blow by Blow from Jeff Beck. What's your favorite bass to play? And you must list all specifications, the woods, the scale length, the pickups, etc., you know, I don't know the pickups. Uh, it's a Mako bass. It's a cheap bass from the 70s, and it has a badass bass 2 bridge on it. That's about the only thing that's been added into it. It has the stock pickups. It's the only maple wood uh, fretboard guitar that I play. Um, all the others are rosewood uh, or darkwood fingerboards. But this thing has got such a sweet, gentle sound, and it feels so good. And for a cheap bass, it's probably one of the best places, the best basses I've ever played in my life. Uh, sorry I don't have more specs on it, but it's just a Mako bass um, from like 70, I want to say 78, 79, somewhere in there. Um, also, your favorite beer of all time and recently tried beer, brew that you liked. I haven't really tried uh, too many beers, only because carbonation kind of screws with my uh, gastritis. The only thing that doesn't have carbonation in it is my all-time favorite beer slash stout, Guinness on hand, always. Mmm. Oh, so good. Guinness, that's the one. Uh, are you a religious man, or do you follow a particular philosophy in life? Not particularly religious. Um, I was raised Christian, but um, I have a lot of... Uh, I butt heads with a lot of people in Christianity, because I have a lot of unanswered questions, and I've always been one to ask questions. Um philosophy in life, you know, hey, just treat people the way you want to be treated. That's the best thing to do. Um, I start out with treating people nice. If you treat me like an ass, I'm going to treat you like an ass. Um, if you treat me with respect, I'm going to treat you with respect. But when I start out, I always treat you with respect. Um, what's your favorite movie? Paul Thomas Anderson's Boogie Nights or Snatch from Guy Ritchie, one of the two, because both of them were like fabulously directed movies. Um, Boogie Nights, I'm kind of leaning more towards the soundtrack, though, because that had more of a soundtrack from my youth. I'm going to go with Snatch with Guy Ritchie. I've always loved that movie. I, I think I probably watched it about 70 times. I could probably watch it another 70 without getting sick and tired of it. Uh, what's the one thing that you refuse to eat? A cockroach. I will, probably will not ever eat a cockroach. Maybe if I get a million subscribers, mmm, yep, then I'll eat a cockroach. Yep, mark those words. <laughs> and uh, just out of curiosity, would you ever agree to a pepper tryout dare or try a boot jalokia pepper? Um, yes, I probably would. Once the gastritis is completely healed, then I would. Right now, I think it would probably do a lot more damage than anything else. But yeah, I wouldn't be opposed to that. Um, would you consider doing a month of fan-submitted food concoctions like odd combos of food uh, you would have to do yourself? I did uh, several of those. I did one of them before, and that's one of the questions that's coming up. Um, it was like a peanut butter... I don't know. It's good. The question's coming up. 
Um, but yeah, I wouldn't be opposed to that. I, I think I would do that. If car A is traveling at 85 miles per hour and car B is traveling at 42 miles per hour headed east, how much bread would feed a family of eight in Uganda? Boy, I had all the calculations down, but we didn't you didn't specify how long if it would feed a family of eight in Uganda for a day for a meal or for a week or for a month so I can't really answer that question uh, Mike in 720p or 1080p probably 720 over 1080 just because 1080 is so big and it takes forever to upload and sometimes I have super long videos and man in 720 and 1080 they take for freaking ever to upload but I'm thinking about changing over to 720 uh, in this coming new year. Um, are you Asian? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I'm not. Uh, would you ever consider eating or tasting ghost chilies in an episode? Yes, I would. Uh, just got to wait for the gastritis uh, to get better. <laughs> are you single? Yes. Married? No. Kids? No. Um... How did you get into nature? Um, father, I think my, my dad was the one who, who got me into it uh, to begin with, just growing up and, and being in the outdoors and stuff. Yeah. Um, I saw a video uh, not so long ago about a guy who drank a grape soda from 1948. I was watching your old Budweiser video. Being that it made you sick, would you try something that old again? Yes. Yes, I would. Uh, Mike, you did a challenge I suggested a while back. Ah, here was the one. A ham, bacon, mustard, and peanut butter sandwich, which actually wasn't that bad. Curious, have you ever ate it again? No. <laughs> also, do you and Zoe still keep in touch? Haven't seen her in the videos. Chubby Bunny. Yeah, I just talked to her today. We talk quite often. Uh, she's one of my closest friends. And uh, yeah, I see her all the time. I'm thinking about getting her into uh, one of my videos here coming up. I asked her before. Um, something came up. She, I know that she wasn't able to do one at one point in time, but um, I'll get her. I'll, I'll get her in another video here coming up for fairly soon. Uh, you always, <laughs> not really a question, just a statement. You always reminded me like you directed porn. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, what is the name of the style of clothes you wear? Um, I'm a jeans and t-shirt kind of guy. Uh, the less clothes, the better. Um, favorite activity? Mm. Favorite activity? Gosh, either playing my ca my uh, my cars, either playing <laughs> either playing my guitars or uh, astrophotography with my uh, telescope. Uh, probably my, my two favorite activities that I like to do. And, uh, Mike, do you ever get bad breath after all the crazy food products and, that you eat? And if so, do you have a surefire way of getting rid of the offended stink? This is a really good question. Um, yeah, I do. I have, a, I have a thing that I do. If I eat something that, that's just lingering there in the mouth and it just uh, tastes really bad, I'll usually, on top of my toothpaste, I'll put a couple of drops of tea tree oil and brush my teeth uh, with that, and that seems to get rid of whatever uh, whatever stink is left behind. Um, have you ever tasted something from Czech Republic? I don't believe so. Uh, if not, would you? Yes, I would. Maybe I can send you something. Please do. Uh, hey, man, thanks for all the great videos. I have a couple of questions. What is your least favorite food and most disgusting thing you've tried so far? Most disgusting food uh, so far was a Sir Strumig, I want to say. Um, that's probably been the most disgusting, the one that Adrian uh, tried with me. And what's your least favorite food? I'm not a big, I'm not a super big fan of Italian food or Mexican food, either one. I'll, I'll eat them, but I'm just not really a big fan of them. I can, I can live without them. Um, how much longer are you going to do these videos? Please say forever, forever, or as long as I can until I die, hopefully. Uh, well, not hopefully that I'm going to die, but hopefully do them until I die. Um, and uh, you're an awesome guy. Keep it up. Thank you very much. Uh, on a serious note, away from any of the, of, from my absurd question, how's your health been doing? Um, health is better. I've been uh, slowly but surely getting better. Still going through tests. I'm, as a matter of fact, I'm going in for an MRI on Monday of something that they missed. The geniuses that they were, and it was even on the uh, uh, prescription that the doctor wrote out of what needed to be done. And they skipped it. 
Um, so I have to go back in Monday and continue with that. Um, just got a big, huge uh, blood thing done from a neurologist and um, a, a rheumatoid uh, arthritis uh, doctor, and everything came back negative. I mean, every test that I've been taking has come back negative, and they still haven't found out what's going on with this area in the back and up front, which they still need to find out. Maybe it's all the stuff you eat. No, it's in the back. Somewhere in the back. Um, pepper I've been watching a lot of spicy pepper challenges. Ever considered doing some ghost pepper challenges? Yeah, I'll consider it once the gastritis uh, gets better. Would you consider doing videos trying new beers that you've never had before? Yes. Yes, indeed, I would. Uh, somebody was sending me some beers from Sweden, and they never made it to my door. Uh, so there's some happy postman out there who got a large quantity of some beers and had a good night. Uh, what's the story behind the Bingin, uh, Binghamton uh, t-shirt, the Binghamton New York t-shirt that I've worn? What's the story behind it? Uh, I left that question unanswered. That must have been asked on the last, uh, the last one that I did. Um, strange thing. My neighbor was in New York. She got me the t-shirt. Uh, I wasn't going to wear it. I said, like, Binghamton New York. And then, coincidentally, that same week that I got it, there was like this mass murder or something that went on. It was all over the news nationwide. So with that, I started to, I started to wear the t-shirt. So I, I wore it, and I still do. I wore it yesterday, as a matter of fact. If you had to remove one of your most favorite foods from the earth forever, which would it be? Why would you want to remove? What kind of a choice would that be? Like if somebody had a gun to your head and say, you, this must go... I think that's the only time I would do that, and that would probably be pho soup, Vietnamese soup. Uh, it's my all-time favorite food, and uh, boy, it would suck to see that go. Ugh, that would be bad. And what's the most unusual thing you know how to do? Uh, I think I could do a lot of strange things, you know, double joints on thumbs and stuff, but... Um, I think the most unusual thing that I can do is I can regurgitate anything I eat on command. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't know where it came, where it comes from. Um, I don't. I don't have to stick my finger down my throat. I can just concentrate and work the muscles, and voila, everything can come up. Not that I do it uh, often. I mean, I'm not uh, bulimic or anything, but um, yeah, it's come in handy a few times. <laughs> I think that's probably the most unusual thing I know how to do. I don't think anybody can do that, right? Or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe everybody knows how to do it. I don't know. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for all the questions. Thanks for watching. Thanks for everybody that subscribed to me. I appreciate you so, so very much. Get some sun. Get some exercise. Be healthy. And I'll see you next week. Bye. Cheers.